Hey everyone, Colorful here, back again with the next video in the Batman the Telltale series. Uh, we just started episode 4, we got like the first chapter of that done, where Bruce Wayne got sent to Arkham for attacking uh, Penguin because Vicky injected him with that toxin, poison, whatever you want to call it. And the Joker is helping us out. Well, you, they haven't called him the Joker yet, but it's quite obviously that's who it is. So let's continue on and see how this goes with the rest of this video this episode because shit is going crazy john is one of our most improved patients he's really? been with us for quite some time i'm sure he'd be willing to show you around right john oh yeah i'll show him the whole nine yards <laughs> oh yeah that's not creepy it would be best if you stayed by his side for there's not enough black tiles you hear me there's too many white tiles what You know, Doc, our last session was so enlightening. Well, that's good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself more. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. Okay, so I'm like going to run. I want to taste anything! I want to taste! <laughs> you gotta be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. Well, I tried to walk away. You remember the first time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Leland? <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Oh, well. What? No, no, you, you need to let me go. I have to warn the president. You're trying to kill you me. You don't know the president. No! <laughs> they don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. Then don't have them in the hallway like that. <laughs> Stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such no. persistence. Wrong number to this. Stop. I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leland. Just take another phone to take good care. How is he the most improved patient when he is still batshit crazy? Honestly, how is that improved? Like, what in the fuck? Welcome to Arkham Asylum! <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. <laughs> oh shit, it's the big dude. But everyone's friendly, mostly. Oh. I watch yourself around those two. That's Zaz. Not a big fan of strangers. What did they do? What did they do? Yeah, that's Zaz. This is Arkham, Bruce. Use that sick little imagination of yours. Murder, mayhem, carnage. The usual. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. Ooh, his favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up! Where is the remote? One of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Ooh! I almost forgot. Here. What is this? Okay. Talk to Billy. What's going on? Or never mind. Let's. Oh, Captain. Uh, let's. That's the way the cookie crumbles. I, I really don't want to... I'm going to regret this, but we're going to talk to Victor Says. Why are you going the long fucking way around to get to him? I'm going to regret talking to Victor Says, but... Because uh, I'm curious. You've got quite a reputation around here. Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style, kid. Uh... What do you know about John? I walked in here with. What can you tell me about him? John Doe? 
A lot of folks are scared of him. Yeah? Why is that? Same He's nuts. folks are scared of tornadoes. They're chaotic. Unpredictable. Not speaking as a... <clears throat> as a professional. I find his work a bit sloppy. But he's certainly enthusiastic. I'll give him that much. Okay. What about Billy? Here. Let's... I can't get it to... You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just... Just shove off. Alright? No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. Wait, okay. Uh, I, I guess we'll use the key. I, I don't know exactly what this is going to do, but hopefully we don't get caught doing something we're not supposed to. Not the right key for this. Oh. Uh, look through the gate. Oh, and Lewis. Uh, use key. Um, this is not going to. Hmm. No. Well, this key doesn't fit. What the hell is it for? It's a wonderful question. All right, let's uh. What's that? Oh no no no! That's not polite at all. Let Let's at check all. the nurses' station. Hey, uh, I was wondering about... It's not lunch yet. <sighs> well, actually, and I it's wasn't... it's not time for meds, either. Beat it. Okay, well, rude. Dude, I don't know what the Keep fucking key was for. Right, boy. You missed me? I missed you. Okay. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there. And I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. And Never anything good on, is there? All right, so let, let, let's see what else there is. There's got to be something over here. He cheats. Every time, he cheats. See what I'm thinking. Mind control. Cheater. I told you. If I could read minds, I certainly wouldn't waste my time on yours. That's a good point. Uh, talk to? Sorry, I can't talk right now. I gotta keep my eye on this guy. Yeah, hi, yeah. Hi, big dude. Thank God you don't recognize me. Well, I... Batman really did a number on this guy. Just let him be. Oh, screw you. That's, um, shit. I can't remember what he's called, but I know that name. Arnold's busy. I swear, if you bother him, I will gut you. Can you tell me about, uh, John Doe. John? Uh, nothing. I, I don't know anything. John? Ah, I love that guy. Makes me laugh. Want to know something weird? No one remembers the day John came to Arkham. Not even the doctors. They don't have any record of him ever being committed. You'd think a freak with green hair would be pretty goddamn memorable, right? But yeah. Nothing. Uh, okay, we'll talk to you real quick. <laughs> I'm, I'm not really crazy, you know, in case you were wondering. Yeah, oh, sure. Worry, I'm not crazy either. Yeah, right. You wouldn't be here if you weren't. What's your excuse, son? Uh, sure. Look at the chest. It's got to be for this. Uh, use the key. Because, I mean, there's nothing else it could be for. Doesn't work there. 
the hell is the point of this key? Talk to him. All right, maybe he can tell me, cause this is a little ridiculous. The key didn't work. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> That's not how you get out of here. <laughs> you tried it though, didn't you? <laughs> That's oh. hilarious. Why did I trust him? My Why? enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local SkyTrain depot. What? Uh, no. Politicians usually bore me to tears, but this one, this one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. Double crossing <laughs> two faced. I thought you yeah. and the mayor were friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. Uh, we used to be friends. He was my friend. I can't believe he's the one who put me here. Sounds like you need better friends. And you're Slim it. Pickens around here, though. I've looked. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. Now, this is good television. Mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose dangerous. your corruption. Lady Arkham is dangerous. Way more dangerous than you think. Oh, I know a bit about Lady Arkham. Let me tell you. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicky. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? So he knows. You know that Vicky is. Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Got your revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot? Publicly and dramatically, something entertaining. Uh, tell me what you know. Casters to talk about. Well, that all depends on you. If your information is good, we'll see. I knew I liked you. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. And I can tell there's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. If those cops hadn't dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot punk would be dead. That wasn't me. It was just pump full of her drugs. Those just amplify what you're already feeling, what's already inside. Don't be ashamed. It's in your blood. I see a lot of your father in you. She probably does too. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Veils killed? I never said he killed the Veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were going to blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, pop, pop. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. Tragedy can uh, drive like her. some pretty dark stuff. I'm not like her. I don't need vengeance. Really? Sounds to me like you've got more in common than you're willing to admit, Bruce. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic! You see, I know what you really are. 
And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not gonna do anything while you're stuck in here. So, so I vote we get you. What do we do? How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I can... uh, assume I can take care of that. The hell? But it's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor. Okay? Just one. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But uh, we'll just keep quiet. Favor between friends. We will meet again. I promise you that. Oh yeah. I'm sure. You know what? I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, uh, Zaz. Hello, Sad. Don't the know if I should really trust Joker, so but we're what gonna. What happens huh? if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? No! No, 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 I don't match him. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now. My skin feels like it's itching. Burning! Need to... Need to get rid of it! Stop! Someone get me a sedative! Run, Brucey! Run! <laughs> Uh, 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 go use the phone. Run, quick, dude, go. Call security. Sorry. Uh, Gordon, 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 Gordon. GCPD. Gordon, it's Bruce Wayne. Wayne? Aren't you supposed to be in Arkham Asylum? Listen, Gordon, I haven't lost my mind. I was drugged. The same drug the children of Arkham used on Montoya and Harvey Dent. You get me out of here, and I'm willing to testify. Huh, this might help our case, actually. That makes three victims now, and Renee says she's got some new evidence. If you're willing to testify, I think I can get you out of there. Thanks. Yeah, do it. Now. I have to go. <laughs> Oh, Bruce, I have not had this much fun in ages. Let me tell you how to find Vicky's stash of missing drugs. Yes. Ask the fails. Quickly, come on. Good luck on the outside, Bruce. I just know you're gonna put on quite a show. Okay, well that was definitely an interesting setup for the rest of this episode. <laughs> I think we'll end this video here and continue on with how the rest of this is gonna go, trying to figure find the veils, get hold of them. Hopefully we can get the hell out of Arkham with Gordon's help and not get destroyed with it. Uh, but again guys just you know like subscribe tell me what you guys think of these of these videos if you want me to continue on with everything um, and just all of that fun stuff and I'll talk to you guys next time bye